You have probably seen crews working the past couple of days along bridges on I-29, but the work they are doing just may surprise you. They're injecting the road with a polyurethane mix that raises the road, fixing bumps you hit when you enter and exit the bridges. WDAY 6 reporter Christina Vaughn has the story. Between 40 and 50,000 vehicles drive up and down I-29 every day, putting a lot of stress on the road and causing it to settle. But on bridges, it's a different story. The bridge doesn't go anywhere, so then you get your ba boom, ba boom, and that the people don't like that. It's not easy on trucks and, and, and vehicles. The solution: give the road a facelift. Steve Molstry takes measurements of problem areas, marks them, then the drill goes to work. The hole is filled with a polyurethane mixture, a fairly new practice. The chemical reaction forms a solid, strong substance that gradually lifts the road. Less invasive. You barely notice we were here. The holes are five eighths inch. Uh, when we leave, you barely can tell we are here, except that the ride is going to be smoother. Uh, just to give you an idea, this is the old mixture used to inject the roadways. It's a very heavy sand and cement mix. Now, this polyurethane mixture, even though it's extremely light, it actually works better because it flows easier and expands and fills the holes better than before. Each time through, you're gaining about an eighth. Preventative work like this saves the DOT a lot of money in the long run. This project runs about $600,000. Just make sure we maintain what we have before it becomes too distressed and it does become a complete reconstruction. You know, reconstruction here would probably, probably cost three to five, maybe more times what we're paying right now. About an inch here. A cost-effective fix that should last years, keeping your commute running smoothly. Brett Favre might unretire before we get this piece. Christina Vaughn, WDAY 6 News. The project should be finished by the end of September. Back to our weather.